last time on Dong Naropa Trigger Happy Havoc. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with letter A and a number. It's Sesame Street. We're brought to you by the letter A and the number number nine. But wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I see a C9 here. And now back to trying to ditch school. Just do it, it'll turn out okay. Hey everyone, it's Finn. Right, and yet here again, it's been a while since I recorded. But we're back for more Dog Naropa, Trigger Trappy Havoc. Last time, we were at the gate Sakura's death. We interviewed uh, the three suspects that we thought were the suspects. And now, time to go through the red doors again. The trial. What will happen? Yeah, you know. Let's find out. Monokuma made his announcement and everyone began to meet up one after another. It's only six of us now. And then... You have to be one of our artists! I like your mystery! What? What the? What the? <laughs> oh! I just recently turned the power of the guns! Like no matter, like no matter how awfully something is, she tosses in a smiley face and turns positive! Yay! Smiley faces! Yes, indeed! For example! <laughs> Pick the and you find a dead body. Laugh. Yeah. This is just creepy, Mon. Well, and how about the reverse? Yeah. No matter how, so no matter how something else, something great is, the naked side of the face is super negative. Yes, indeed. For example, hmm. did you have a hundred friends? Uh, what? What? He's right. He's right, Mon. That does seem like sad. No, please get in the elevator! Eh? I see y'all down there! Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking, 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 looking. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Ah! What the hell is that? I don't get it, Mon. Just the worst. I don't get you guys! I can't sell cuts while to murder somebody! D don't look at me! I don't think I can casual, Mon. Don't be mean. I'm like, I didn't hear anyone, Mon. What the heck? Yeah, well, yes, it. How do you call me a murderer? What the heck? Whatever. Hmm. Either way, the truth will be revealed soon enough. Because there can be no doubt that one of us is the culprit. Killer, that one, the one that murdered Sakura. She was stronger than anyone I know. And yet, someone killed her. And that person is here? A person is one of us. Who did it? It was he wasn't it, Cory? Don't look at me. I said before, Mon, I'll say it again, it wasn't me. It was you, Tagami, wasn't it? Hmm. The culprit is one of us. Make no mistake about that. It was you, Toko, wasn't it? I didn't tell you that! It really you were seeing it, wasn't it? What the heck? I can see it. 
then there's that you didn't do it. Well, I'm not gonna sweat. No, it was really Carrie Gary. You know, so it was me. Standing around, is it gonna do anything good? Let's get going. More time to put into this. I'm a, I may wait my elevator. Read step. I took it for like I was moving further and further away from my goal. I could feel a chill, a chilling fear ring through me, trying to make me rot from the inside out. And my nose running. The many times I go through this, it never gets any easier. We climb into our still prison in total silence. Watch the doors close and felt it begin its sinister descent. The elevator roared, uttering its all too familiar clunking sounds. It felt it fell lower and lower. Hey, it's more, a lot more space in here now. And suddenly, as always, the ride was over. Doors open once again. Hmm, just a six of you, really? That's so few. You must be real. So you must be so lonely. You, you say you say that, that like it's not your fault. We're, we're all that's left. I wonder if the class trial end with one less class meet again, or your school has come to end completely. Now then, are we ready to begin? You know the drill. Find your assigned seats. So the curtain opened for the fourth time. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. Deadly class trial. Yeah. That's skills. It's <coughs> my five. Uh, yeah, okay. Anything else new? Uh, this gaze increases more slowly. Uh, and that seems important. Oh, I think that's everything I need. Yeah, do it. Trial start. All rise. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results! This is the fourth time we've done this, Marakuma. Don't you think we know this by now? If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But, if you pick the wrong one... Then I'll punish everyone besides the Blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Now then! Where to begin? Where indeed? We already know who did it. Whoa! Deja vu! The one who killed Sakura... What's me? <laughs> ...is one of the people that hated her. Fiakuya, Toko, or Hiro. It was one of you. <laughs> uh, I had nothing to do with it. Yeah! I'd never kill someone, no way! I don't want to hear your stupid excuses. Hina, Hina seems sure, really sure that one of these three is the killer. But she, have, she must have some reason for believing that. It was 
One of you. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. You hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's not low. That's about as low as you can get. I do have more hearts now. Yes. That's the reason he feels so strongly. It was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. You hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's not as low. Damn it. That's about as low as you can get. Uh, uh. It was one of you. One of you. And what reason do you have? Because you all have. You hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? Damn it! That's low. That's about as low as you can get. Ah! Uh. It was one of you. One of you killed. And what reason? Did because you all you hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us. Ah! Damn it! That's about as low as you can get. It was one of you. One of you killed. And what reason do you have? Because you all had a motive. You hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us. That's low. Damn it! That's about as low as you can get. Ah! It was one of you. One of you killed. And what reason do you have? Because you all had. You hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's God low. damn it! That's about as low as you can get. It was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. Ah, got and great. What reason do you have for saying so? I'm gonna because tell this one. Had a you hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? Ah, uh, god damn it! That's about as low as you can get! Ah! It was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. Uh. And what reason do you have for saying so? Eight, seven, six, you five. Make any Four, sense. three, zero. Oh boy, yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. I refuse to give up yet. Doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's Come on, damn it! That's about as low as you can get. Come on. It was one of you. One of you killed. And what reason do you have? Because you all had a. Mo you hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us. God damn it! That's low. That's about as low as you can get. It was one of you. One of you killed. And what reason do you have? Because you all had. You hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us. 
Yes! Ugh, finally! Another reason you suspect them is because Sakura wanted to meet with them, right? Yep. Yeah, and that was right before she died. So there's no doubt about it. One of those three killed her. I can disagree with Hina. There's a good reason to suspect all three of them. But we all did it together! You all kill all, kill all three of them, they all stabbed her at one time. Does that mean one of them did it? See, you're definitely get contracted. Never would see Sakura. That's one of them is definitely lying. The fact that Sakura wanted to meet with all three of them? There's no way that's not suspicious. One of you is absolutely guilty. I don't deny that she wanted to meet with us, but I never went to see her. I didn't either. Yeah, same here. I never saw you. No, it's wrong. You're wrong, Hakura! Let you make him fool. Hiro, when we were talking before, you dropped a small piece of paper, remember? It was white with red polka dots. What? What's that got to do with anything? Red polka dots? That's gotta be the wrapper from the candy I gave Sakura! No, it's... it's... um... Ever since we got into the warehouse, I totally monopolized that entire box of candy. So there's no way a single one of them was left in the warehouse. In that case, Hiro, where did you get that piece of candy? From Sakura! It's the only explanation! Uh, um... Um... Well, I mean... Yeah, sure I got it from her, but... She gave it to me forever ago. It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to her. When? When did she give it to you? The last time you saw Sakura was... when Hina had to go to the nurse's office, right? Yeah, so I must have got it some time before then. Well, he also can't be right. Because Sakura can only got the from an accident, accident in the nurse's office. I know that is. didn't actually give Sakura the candy till after she left the nurse's office. So if that was the last time you saw her, there's no reason you should have had that candy. Damn it! Uh, I mean, what I meant was, uh... Uh, uh... Oh, that's right! I did meet up with her in the rec room! You got a problem with that? Why the sagging hostility? But we just talked, that's all! I didn't do anything! You gotta believe me! You're acting incredibly suspicious. You're acting incredibly suspicious! You are hostile. It's not just normal hostility! You're the real culprit! I even have proof! Pro proof? What are you talking about? I'm talking about her shining message. What would a shining message even be? At the scene of the crime, she had written out Toko in her own blood, right? Oh. It was her dying message. Just like what you guys were talking about with Sayaka. That's true. I saw it for myself. See? See? Toko did it. What are you saying? No way. I didn't do it. You just don't know when you're beat, do you? Hero, hold on. 
Hold on. When did you see that dying message of hers? Huh? Well, when we found Ogre's body. Duh. Duh. <laughs> but if you recall, Hina was very adamant about keeping you away from the scene of the crime. So it's hard to believe that's when you actually saw the message for yourself. Uh, hold on. And kill you from the message. Thy message. Message. Thy message. It was, it was uh, on the magazine shelf. I got it. Kyoko, you found the magazine on the magazine shelf, right? That's right. Looking through the shelf, I found the magazine with the dying message on it. I found it right there at the scene of the crime. After we'd started the investigation. If that's true, then what Hiro just said doesn't really make sense, does it? Doesn't make sense? What doesn't make sense? Everything I said makes perfect sense. Yeah, there's a problem from what Hiro said, like always. The dying message when Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message, it was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I saw her final words. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense. That's anything wrong with what Hero said. Just now, like always, Hero's crazy! I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. No, no, oh, damn it! I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I saw her final words. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. I'll tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. No, that's wrong. You're wrong. Again. <laughs> when Sakura's body was found, that magazine was sitting on the shelf nearby. That's where Kyoko found it. After we'd begun the investigation, and you weren't at the murder scene, so there's no way you could have seen it then. <laughs> Tell us the truth, Hero. When did you see the message? Uh, hold on! You're focusing on the wrong part! Why does it matter when I saw it? All you gotta do is read the Vienna Sausage Ogre left us, and we know who the killer is! Toko! I don't even know where to begin with that one! <laughs> You're crazy, Hakuna Kura! You're crazy! He's just trying to confuse us! Actually, can we even be sure Sakura wrote that message in the first place? Um, yeah? I think we can all agree Ogre wrote that message. 100%! Without a doubt, she wrote it! And this is me talking, so you know it's true! Oh, doubt? No, I have to do doubt it! Because you said it, Hakuna Kura. I know Sakura wrote that message. Here we go. Show me the proof. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. Show me the proof. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. The end is nigh. Show me the proof. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. Ah, this is much Show easier with proof. more life. Oh, with more health. Show me the proof. I'm at least thirty percent right. The occult is bullcrap. Show me the proof. 
I'm at least 30% right. I'll strike. Show me the proof. This should prove it. Oh, yes. More health. Make that game a lot easier. I'm completely unconvinced that Sakura wrote that dying message. Because if you look at it, the message was almost certainly written using a finger. But. 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 Both of her hands were completely free of blood. So what? What? Who did write it? Hero could very well have written it himself. That would explain how he knew about the message in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Ah! He admits it! I figured as much. But why would you write something like that? Huh, I wonder. Because... Because I killed her! <laughs> You're made to kill her? That was easy. Okay. Makuma! Kill him! Please, just let me explain what happened. I got Ogre's note, and so I headed to the rec room right before noon, just like it said. You just did exactly as the note asked? What a fool. And when I got there... Sorry, do you mind waiting? I asked like other people to meet me as well. Uh, okay, mom. Would you like a piece of candy? It might help give you some energy. Uh, sure. I'll start. Thanks, mom. And that's all she said. After that, we just stood around in awkward silence. Suddenly, I heard her mutter something. This is it. I'm going to end it today. I'm going to end everything. As soon as I heard that, I just knew. I knew she was going to try and kill me. She was going to kill me and make her escape. So of course I freaked out, and then... I saw my only chance. I grabbed the Monokuma bottle from the shelf and smashed it across her head. I... I hit her from behind before she had any idea what was happening. Then she just... went limp. I didn't see her move again after that. Once it was over, I pulled myself together. I realized if I didn't do something, I'd be caught and executed. So I wrote Toko's name in blood across a magazine on the table and I ran away. I can't believe you! You're the worst! I hope you die! Well, that's what happened. Go ahead. Roast me, boil me, do whatever you want. Okay. You're not gonna get off that easy. It's death. Death for the one that killed Sakura. We're ready to vote now, right? We know who did it. No, I think there's more to Hero's story. What are you talking about? What else could there be? There's one thing that Hero's story just now doesn't explain. And until we figure that part out, we can't consider the case closed. I guess it. I think Toko. I guess he was hidden. I got it! That's true. Everything you just said. It doesn't explain why the magazine was hidden, does it? Huh? By the time the body was discovered, the magazine had been picked up and put on the shelf. Why would you take the time to write that message, then stick it somewhere we might not find it? Oh, well, uh, I didn't hide it. I'm sure I just left it sitting there on the table. Really? He's lying! He's gotta be lying! I don't see any reason he would lie now, after already confessing to the crime. Then... he's not lying? I'm still angry! Assuming he's telling the truth, someone else must have put the magazine back on the shelf. In other words, at least one other person was in the rec room both before and after the incident. I don't think there's any question about that. But then, who was it? Who was it? If they went to the trouble of hiding the magazine, they must not have liked what was written on it. Oh, I'm smiling. Who, 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 who wouldn't be like Toko? I got it. Perhaps it was Toko. Toko, right? Yes. To huh. But Toko not like her name being written in the magazine. Look. 
Who else would want to hide the magazine other than the person whose name was written on it? Is he right, Toko? Did you really go to the rec room? Why would I have... Wait! But more important! That doesn't even matter! We already know who did it, right? Hero just admitted it! That's right. I killed her. No, you didn't. Who last you? I don't doubt Hero attacked Sakura with the body. But that's not where this case ends. What do you mean? What he means is that Hero isn't the killer. You can't be serious! That's just... I don't believe it! Hero, tell us what happened one more time. If we go through it once more, it should become clear he's not Sakura's killer. Um, so... what do you want me to do? Just tell us what happened one more time when you attacked Sakura. I don't really see why, but... Okay. This can't it's the case just yet. Hero isn't the real killer. I have to prove that. Took five four. Took his body. I didn't want to, but I did it. I grabbed a Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby. And I hit Ogre from behind, before she could do anything. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once, is that right? Yeah, just once. After the first swing, the bottle shattered. And she went limp. See? Isn't it obvious? Hero really is the killer! Hero that sucker for sure but in there. I didn't want to, but I did it. I grabbed a Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby. And I hit Ogre from behind before she could do anything. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once, is that right? Yeah, just once. No, 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 no. Ah, damn it. The first swing, the bottle shattered. And she went limp. See? Isn't it obvious? Hero really is the killer! I didn't want to, but I did. I grabbed a Monokuma bottle from and I hit Ogre from behind before she could do anything. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once, is that right? Yeah, just once. After the first swing, the ah. shattered. And she went limp. See? Isn't it obvious? Hero really is the killer! I didn't want to, but I did it. I grabbed the monocle uh, and come on. nearby. And I hit Ogre from behind before she could do anything. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once, is that right? Yeah, just once. After the first swing, the ball shattered, and she went limp. See? This hero really is the killer! I didn't want to, but I grabbed him on a Kuma button and I hit Ogre from behind. You hit her from behind, and you only hit her once, is that right? Yeah, just once. Oh! Oh, damn, I threw Ah. Uh. After the first swing, the bottle shattered, and she went limp. See? Isn't it obvious? Hero really is the killer! I didn't want to, but I grabbed a Monokuma bottle and I hit Ogre from behind. Before you hit her from behind, and you only hit her once. Yeah, just once. Nope, no. no. Damn it! After the first swing, the bottle shattered, and she went. Oh! Uh, see? Isn't it obvious? Hero really is the killer. I didn't want to, but I grabbed the Monokuma button and I hit Ogre from behind. Before she, you hit her from behind, and you only hit her once. Is that right? Yeah, just once. Yes. No, that's wrong. 
Again! You're wrong! After 20 minutes of doing that. Sakura died from hero single blow. That doesn't explain why she had two head wounds. Huh? Two? That's right. She had two separate wounds on her head. And remember, this girl examines dead bodies as a hobby. Personally, I'm inclined to believe her. But I only hit her once. How could she have two wounds? Two wounds means she was struck twice. What's more, both attacks must have come from a Monokuma bottle. Hold on. How can you know that just from some cuts on her head? She was attacked twice with two Monokuma bottles? It's not just because of her head wounds. It's also because of the Monokuma bottles themselves. There's something very suspicious about those bottles. Very suspicious indeed. Like, why would Monokuma even play chess? Once you understand that point, you'll understand why two separate Monokuma bottles must have been used. Think back. After the incident, there were four Monokuma bottles left on the shelf, right? Yeah. And we found pieces of a bottle on the ground, along with the chest piece it had inside. That was the bottle Hiro hit Sakura with, right? For now, just note that there were four intact bottles and one broken bottle. But originally, there were six bottles in total, meaning one has gone missing. But how can you know for sure there were six bottles? How? How indeed? Mm -hmm. If you look at what the bottles all had in common, it should become clear. Should be the market of bottles trying to come clear. Which it must be. Chest? Is there a key? Oh, it's oh, it's, it's S. Oh, no, I. C E Now I understand. Chest piece. That's it. The chest pieces. Inside each bottle, there was a Monokuma figure holding a different chest piece. King, Rook, Bishop, Pawn. I definitely remember seeing each of those. And the piece that was inside the broken bottle we found was the knight, if I remember. So, what's that matter? I guess you don't know too much about chess, do you? Then let me explain. In chess, there are six different pieces. The king, the queen, the rook, knight, bishop, and pawn. What was left intact at the crime scene were the king, rook, bishop, and pawn. Just those four. And on the ground was the knight. Oh, so the queen is missing. Look at the queen! So we only have evidence for five bottles at the scene. Well, one apparently went missing. What does Chaz have to do with anything? Yeah, Shogi is way better. Yeah. <coughs> no, that's not what I mean. So, let's say a bottle did go missing. There's still no evidence that has anything to do with this case. That bottle could have disappeared any time before the murder. No, it's clear that the missing bottle is connected to this case. How is it clear? 
Think about what state the missing bottle must have been in. Maybe then you'll understand. Wait. Cause it's it's ex it was excited. I got it. The bottle must have been broken. Oh yeah. Because there was evidence of the scene that supports it. Huh? That's right. We found evidence that shows there was more than just one broken bottle at the scene. Hmm. And what is this evidence? That, that proves it was. broken bottle pieces at the scene to one of the unbroken bottles. And what we found was that the collection of pieces was heavier. And the reason for that is there was actually more than one bottle's worth of shattered glass. <laughs> so from this, we can surmise that two bottles were actually broken at the scene of the crime. But someone did their best to clean up the pieces of one of the bottles, along with the figure inside. But when they did, they must have left behind a few too many pieces, which is only natural. They certainly had no way to measure the exact right number of pieces to remove. But why would they have to try and get rid of it like that anyway? Because of what it would reveal about the case. It reveal that they're a ball smasher! That's the thickness about resolved in this case. Just by the bullet for shadows. I got it. The bottle that was removed from the scene was used the second time Sakura was attacked. The second wound on Sakura's <sighs> head came from that second bottle. Given all the evidence, this is the only possible conclusion. It is? The killer wanted to make it look like there was only one attack, so they had to get rid of their evidence. From there, we can conclude that it wasn't Hiro who delivered that second blow. It sure was. Wouldn't you agree, Toko? <laughs> and there's the matter of the magazine. You must have been in the rec room when the incident took place. Wait! I admit, maybe there was a second attack, but... But there's no evidence I had anything to, to do with it! No way! You killed her! I'm sure of it! Shut up! Until two seconds ago, you were claiming you killed her! I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. That's just the kind of guy I am. Shut up, Hagatori. I just remembered something that proves it! Okay, fine. Let's hear it. It was right after I got Ogre's note. I was kind of nervous about it, so I went to the rec room early. You know, to stake it out or whatever. So I was waiting there, and that's when I saw her. I saw Toko go into the rec room. Yeah, did? Pretty soon, Ogre showed up, and she went into the rec room. I assumed Toko was still in there, so I figured everything would be okay. That's why I headed in. But when I got inside, Ogre was all alone. Toko had disappeared. And you just now decided to share that with us? After the shock of thinking I'd killed someone, I forgot all about it. I forgot all about it. Um. Someone tighten the screws on his brain. I think they've come loose. So, Toko, where the heck did you disappear to? You don't know what you're talking about. I never went in the rec room. I'm sure she didn't disappear, but maybe she found somewhere to hide. Huh? Huh? Hiding in the rec room? Don't be ridiculous! Oh, no, I don't. I, I don't wreck. I don't relax. Why are you all ganging up on me? You're all nothing but vermin. Oh, oh 
my card tickets at all. Back back room. Oh yeah. Yay, more more stuff to learn. So far you probably been pressing the triangle button. Strike about the second thought. No, and you have to pay a little extra attention to your pissing blow. It's a proper tooth bullet. Yay, more stuff to learn. Wait, not that debate. Please press the L1 button. I'll let debate. Is it the kind? What to choose from? You probably first are going to pretend you said to me regardless. This is once, okay? We're halfway through the game. Now, I'll kill you! Yay! So, good luck. Have fun. Oh boy. It's a lie! I admit nothing! Come on, no, 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 no. That's better. Someone left a handprint behind on the inside of the walker. Did you know that? They must have been hiding in there and put their hand on the wall without thinking. Does this handprint look familiar, Toko? No, it doesn't. Okay then, let's just compare it to your hand, shall we? That'll clear everything up. Stop wasting my time. Just tell us the truth. Okay, it's my handprint. Dang, she just straight up admitted it. Then you killed Sakura. No, I swear, there's no way. Out with it. I probably did kill her. Straight up again? Wait, what do you mean probably? Give us the details, Toko. What happened between you and Sakura? Uh, me? Huh. Now. After I read S Sakura's note, I decided to go there early, so I went into the rec room. I didn't know what she might do if I didn't go. 
but I was too scared to face her head on. So I figured I'd just sneak in first and hide in the locker. And then, did you see what happened? Did you see me hit her? Yes. And I saw you write my name. I saw you forge her dying message. Well, that's awkward. So after he left, I jumped out of the locker and put the magazine back on the shelf. But when you did, you put it back upside down. I didn't mean to. I was in a hurry. Imbeciles, all of you. Forget all that. Why did you attack Sakura? After I put the magazine back, I heard a sound behind me like a... Like a monster growling. And when I turned around... There was Sakura, covered in blood, and staring right at me! When I saw all that blood, I fainted. Right there in front of the magazines. I don't remember what happened after that. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Her, you mean... Oh boy. What's your fault after all? My fault? Master's fault? When our faults combine, they soar to even greater heights! Just answer the question. Did you kill Sakura? Well, to be honest, this Morose and me don't actually share our memories. So I can't really say what was going on. But I was just minding my own business, sleeping peacefully when someone shook me awake. What did a prince paying me a visit? I wondered. So I opened my eyes to see... Not prepared for that. And well, I guess it took me by surprise. I got so startled, I smacked her with the first thing I could find, which I guess was a bottle. Sakura was just worried about you, and you. you're terrible! No, she's terrible! Thanks to her, I murdered someone who wasn't an adorable boy for the first time ever! And when it was all over, you collected the pieces of the bottle to get rid of the evidence, didn't you? I wasn't about to die for some woman! If I'm gonna go down, I want it to be for killing Master! Just go away and die your meaningless death alone. Don't drag me into it. But I just can't catch a break, you know? Fate's got it out for me. Cause normally, Sakura should have been able to dodge my attack, no problem! Even as strong as she is, she must have still been reeling from Hero's attack. Hey, come on! That's... you know... But anyway... I'm not the one that killed Ogre, so that's good. Yamey! So that's good. Kids like that, talking like that, he is gonna. Well then, that's that. Let's start the boat. Huh? I thought I'm sure you had some words for Hina here on that one. What's wrong? Come on, everyone, we're ready to vote, right? Let's do this. No, not quite yet. Huh? Not yet? Why not yet? Don't you think there was something odd about Toko's story? I mean, you had to have noticed. Well, something odd, but something odd besides your normal oddness. Odd? Huh? Hero's attack, and then Toko's, but that still wasn't the end of it. It wasn't? Tell us your story one more time. Tell us what happened after you fainted. Then even this gaggle of idiots should understand what I'm talking about. Do you wish it my command, darling? Whatever yet, is it? Only well, good soccer is. Problem here is blow. I was just sleeping peacefully, and all of a sudden, I remember waking up. You were taken by surprise when you saw Ogre covered in so you smashed her head in with a Monokuma bottle. You got it. I and where did the attack take place? Right where I woke up. I killed 
No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Ah, damn it. Ah. I was just sleeping peacefully, and all of a sudden, I remember waking up. You were taken by some you smashed her. You got it. And where to be attacked? Right where I woke up. I killed her there in front of the show. No, it's wrong. Let's slow it down a little bit. We found Sakura sitting upright in a chair. If the blow by the shelf was the cause of death, there's no explanation why she was in that chair. So, you finally noticed. That's just another lie from a bloodthirsty serial killer. Are you sure you didn't attack her while she was sitting in the chair? No, I'm sure she's telling the truth. Anyone who saw the murder scene should think the same way. That's to be it. Attacking the right it was. Sakura was definitely attacked in front of the shelf. The blood stain by the magazines is proof of that. It's so hot right now. Then she must have moved the body after she killed her, right? All to make it look like I did it. Because when I hit her, she was sitting in the chair. Hey, come on now, look at me. I can't carry anything heavier than my own scissors. There's no way I can move a muscle-bound heavyweight like that. Then, then what's the deal? Well, are you still convinced the case has come to an end? But, but... Plus, the biggest mystery of all, the locked room, still has yet to be explained. Until we take care of that, we can't say this case has been properly settled. Oh boy. Oh, that part's easy. After she killed Sakura, Toko just hid in the locker again. Oh, so she just hid in there? Till everyone showed up and opened the door? And while everything was all confused and hectic, she just snuck out of the locker into the- No, I don't think that's possible. It's just the way it was in the locker is because I said so. Not for myself. I was, I was in the locker too! I got it! Even before we opened the door to the rec room, Hina and I both got a look inside. And at that point, the locker was already open. So obviously, Toko couldn't have been hiding in there. Hmm. Okay, then. Where was she hiding? I don't know. What's the full locked room thing about anyway? How do you not know? You killed her! I think the fact that I don't know proves I didn't kill her. Thank you very much. You're lying! You're lying! No, she's not. I've been saying all along, there's still more to this case. But if Genocide Jill didn't do it, that means Ogre didn't die from the shot to the head! And? Well, well, I can't imagine what else could have killed her. That's because you're overlooking vital information. Could we put something important? Could we? I don't know, but we'll find out next time! Ho ho! That's what I'm explaining right now. I, I can turn the air conditioner on. But anyways, th th thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Dr. Rope or Trick or Happy Havoc. If you like what, if you like what I do here, please have a little Patreon or Amazon list list fun. Give me some better supplies to make better videos. But if you're poor, you can't afford to get no job right now because of the pandemic, then how about this little comment, like, and subscribe? And that bell icon too is very helpful. So you can be updated with more videos. In the meantime, never stop learning and enjoy the randomness. I'll see you next time. Bye.